Hi you guys, I'm so excited today I will show you how to make this very very simple uh, Christmas tree with an angel on top. Now this one has an angel but of course you can do uh, a star or anything else. Super super simple um, project to do for Christmas and uh, you can do it on the scroll saw, you can do it on the bend saw, you can even do it with a jigsaw if you do a star on top. It will be hard to cut this angel with a jigsaw. But if you do a star, you can totally do it with a jigsaw. As you can see, it's just a whole bunch of star shapes stacked on top of each other and on top of a round base. This pattern, it's not my pattern. I did not come up with this. I downloaded it for free from the internet, from a website uh, from um, Steve Goods. Steve Goods is well known in the scrolling uh, community and he offers tons of free patterns and that's what I downloaded mine from. So if you want to download it, you can go to Steve Wood's website and download it. Now, this is a very simple pattern. And now that I told you where you can get it, you might be tempted to just click out and go do the project because you don't need to see how I did it. But the reason why I made this video is because I want to show you two more things. It's not just how to make this um, tree over here. I don't know if it's focusing, if you can see it. Super, super cute. But the things that I will show you in this video is how to take the, how to make this aged cherry. This is just cherry, the same thing like the angel. And you can see the angel is light color and the cherry is very, very aged, like it's been aged for 30 years. And I aged this cherry, it's not a stain, I just aged it with a common household item and this is 100% lye. So keep watching this video if you want to see how simple it is to age cherry with lye. Now this is still wet because I just applied an oil on it, but uh, I aged a cherry so I will show you how to do that. And then also I will show you how to do a uh, gold leafing. I mean, this is my first choice. I made the angel out of gold. I thought it would be super cute and contrasty with the dark cherry. And this is what the gold leaf uh, angel looks like. As you can see, it's not perfect and that's because I let the glue dry for too long and the gold leaf, it was not sticking to it so well. So then I changed my mind and just left it just bare with just the cherry. And I did not age the angel because I wanted to have some contrast. And again, this is how cute this look. And if you want to see how to age cherry and how to make this golden angel, keep on watching. Let's get right into it. Now, the first thing you see me do in this uh, clip is putting some blue tape onto my cherry material. And this is my preferred mo method of doing uh, scrolling. So I applied the blue tape and then I printed my um, pattern. I cut the shapes out and then I use some of this 3M spray and sprayed it on my pattern, on the back of my pattern. And then I glue it to the blue tape. On top of the blue tape, I put some packing tape and that will help lubricate the blade and, you know, not overheat and don't get burn mark and so on. And this is just my preferred method. You can do it however you want. You can glue the pattern straight to your wood piece. You can use packing tape, not use packing tape, use blue tape, not use it. It's all up to you. For the after I put my patterns onto the piece of wood on the blue tape, I took it to the drill press and I used a four center bit that is a quarter inch um, diameter to drill all the holes in the middle of my uh, shapes. Now you can use a drill bit, you do not need to use a four center bit, you can use whatever you have that is a quarter inch if you're using a quarter inch dowel. Then. Um, the next thing I did, I took my patterns to the scroll saw to cut the shapes. And what I use for the blade, I use a number five Pegas blade. And that is the geometry modified blades. Those are my favorite blades. I've tried many, many over the last few weeks. And those are the only blades that do not have drift. If you ever use a scroll saw, then you know that all blades drift to the left, I believe. And um, these are the only ones that do not drift. So it's so much easier to stay on a straight line and they are my preferred blades. So here is one of our pieces. I already cut them and I already put the quarter inch hole in the center of each one of them. The angel gets the hole on the bottom. So when it sits on top of the tree, he stands up. And I'm gonna start working with my angel first because this one will need some time to dry. So first of all, I will take my tape off
Then I'm gonna take some sandpaper and just kind of give it a little bit of sanding. I'm not gonna spend too much time on this and we'll call that good. To make it easier on myself, I will put it on a quarter inch dowel like this so I can hold it while I put the glue on it. For the glue, I'll be using this uh, metal leaf, well, that's the sealer. This is the glue. It comes in a kit, a sealer, a glue, and then the gold foil. I'll put it in the description below. I'm gonna shake it really quick, just so it mixes up. And then let's see, I'll be using a soft brush, something like this. And I'm just going to paint this glue onto my angel. Let me bring you closer so you can see. All right, so here is my angel, here's my brush, and we have the glue. I'm gonna quickly paint it. You don't wanna put too much, but you wanna put enough to cover it. I'm not gonna put any glue on the bottom because we won't see the bottom. We'll be on the bottom. That is pretty good, I say. I am going to, let's see, I'm going to clamp this into my vise to let it dry for about 20 minutes. So there we go, onto my vise. And while that is sitting there, I am going to take all the stickers off of my rest of the shapes and give it just a really quick sanding. All right, here is our angel. And I think I let it dry a little bit too much. I hope it's still sticky. And now I will apply the gold leaf. So I'll just be taking a sheet of this, if I can. Let's see if I can get any one. All right, now I'm gonna take this guy outside and I'm going to just spray it with just like some can lacquer, just to kind of seal it. And then I will be right back in. Now it's time to age our cherry. I really don't like this color of cherry. I wanted to look that really aged cherry. So what I have, it's uh, four ounces of water, just room temperature water. And I'll be putting about a half a teaspoon of this household 100% lye. I'll leave a link in the description below if this is something you're interested in getting. Now, this, please be very careful when using lye. It is a very strong chemical. So I'm just going to put a little bit in it. Not even going to put too much. Tiny little bit. And I'm going to mix it in. Now, lye is used for drain cleaner, cleaning, so that's why I said it's very, you know, potent chemical. Please be very careful with it. All right. Now time to apply it onto our wood. I'm just gonna use a brush. This is the one that I just so happened to have it out here. So now I'm just going to brush this lye all over my cherry. And this should react pretty quickly with it and age it. It's 
So for four ounces, about a half a teaspoon, one teaspoon per eight ounces. And I can already tell the wood is changing color. I'm very happy with that. Isn't that amazing how the color changes so quickly? I mean, look how beautiful that is. Here we are the next day and um, the pieces are done. I give them a little light sanding because when we put that water and light solution, it did raise the grain. And I actually, the more I looked at this gold angel, I feel like I didn't do that great of a job. And that's because I let the glue dry for too long. So I went ahead and cut another angel and I just left it plain. And I might use that for the top. I'm not sure yet. Now let's see how this thing goes together. I have a dowel. This is a quarter inch. Remember we cut quarter inch holes into the pieces. And now we just have to kind of put it together and see what size do we need to cut this dowel. So I'm just going to stick the base in there and then start stacking my stars. And when I stack this, guys, I want to make sure that the stars, you see this star, the point goes in between the one, the points from the one underneath. So they're kind of staggered. And we go from the larger size to the smaller size. If your pieces are too tight on your dowel, what you can do is you can put this dowel into a um, drill and then take a sandpaper, hold it around the dowel and move it back and forward. And that will just sand it down so it makes it a little bit skinnier so your pieces fit easier. So let's see, something like that. And then the angel, we need to cut some. You can see this dowel is too tall. I want the angel to be sitting on that star. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but it's going to be super, super duper cute. So that would be with the plain angel and this is with the gold angel. I think I'm gonna use the plain one. So I'm going to mark this dowel now. Okay. So I'll mark about this much. And now I'll take all the pieces out and go cut this dowel to size and then we'll assemble it, glue it and put a finish on it. I'm going to use CA glue for this, but you can use any wood glue you want. So let's see. For the finish, I'll keep it simple. I'll just use some boiled linseed oil. And I'll be honest with you, this is my least favorite finish, but that's exactly why I wanna use it. And that is because I'm trying to get rid of it. I have so much of it and I don't really like the smell of it. So this is the kind of project I can just, you know, use it and get rid of it. And this is our finished project. I think it looked adorable. Now it's a little bit dark right now because it's still wet. I just applied the oil, but once it dries up, I think it's gonna look fantastic. And I like the contrast between the aged cherry and the you know normal color cherry. I think was a good choice and I'm very happy with the way it ended up. I hope this was helpful to you and you learned something new. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Skylar Ewing and I'll see you in my next video.